ActivePlan's project information model federates the geometric model and COBE files from each work package. It connects to the product library and tests to see how much of the information the client required was delivered at each work stage. This progressive validation makes it easier for suppliers to deliver what's needed. Here we see that only 39% of the information needed for fire doors has been provided, and we can drill down and see what needs chasing. In this case, it's the fire-related properties that are outstanding. It might be that you can interpret this from the description, so that text or passive data comes through from the product library. We might want to check how we're doing with some of the other doors, and this simple dashboard lets you see how each of the suppliers is performing. You can give them direct access so they can deliver what's missing. Remember, this is checking against the project-specific requirements they've agreed to provide. You can see that one of them's already at 100%, which might motivate the others to perform. We might want to see where they're installed, so we can pick the floor and the Kobe database generates a simple interactive plan that's populated with active or smart objects. It's the same door that we saw in the 3D model, but this time the spatial model identifies the two spaces that it's serving. That's important for CAFM systems that use space names to locate assets. Any documents from the manufacturer or the installer are included, so you don't have to hunt around in O&Ms to try and find which work package delivered the interior doors. Manufacturers' data sheets are all different, so the product library can generate all products in a standard template format that includes the key product data along with the project-specific information about where it was installed.